Okay, we're here with another episode of Only Stands. We are live in Los Angeles, California. And um, I got my white whale. I got my white whale guest. I'm very excited. My heart's kind of beating. I was, I don't know. I mean, you're, you're my white whale. So, Trey DiMatteo is here. Wait, I'm your what? Your white what? whale. Moby Dick reference. Moby Dick. <laughs> no, I'm not calling you a whale. <laughs> I'm calling you a I'm calling you a I'm metaphorical whale. Well. Like mo- you know, like you know, Moby Dick, Captain Ahab, the whale he always wanted was okay. Moby Dick. I'm just playing. So, like for example, I don't know what's a what's a. Cl- I'm trying to get out of this hole right now. Like, let's say, oh man, this is this is bad. This what is if I said bad. you're my white whale? Then that would be kind of a mean joke. <laughs> I I've been trying to get you on here for months, and I finally got it. I'm very excited. I'm sorry for basically stalking you and tagging you in stories like once a month. But I didn't know. Yeah. I got uh this is cool. Do you know who Dave Cobb is? He's like the biggest friggin' music producer. There, I don't know there who Dave is. Cobb is. His wife sent me your the the the, the thing. The, well, thank you, uh, Dave Cobb. Yes. So his wife did Lydia, and uh, I was like, wow, I can't believe she's watching this show. Or I, I don't know what's going on. But also Robbie's assistant. Um, all the, you know, all the the boys they like yeah. your show. I agree. I'm, that's what Please. I've been saying. I've been telling everybody. I'm like, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of you. Huge Sopranos fan. Huge fan of Sons. I'm a big fan of your oh, work. Oh, right on. Well, thanks. And I have one more show that I really want to talk to you about. But I'm a big oh. fan of your work. So I was like, once I saw you on OnlyFans, I said, this is literally the dream podcast. This is the dream. I need to somehow get it done. And I'm happy we're doing it. So let's get into it. Let's begin it. Thanks though. for having me. Can uh, I just say something? Yes, I watched please. a few of your, um, I watched some episodes today. Uh, like, <laughs> who was the girl that I fell in love with? What was Ooh. her name? What she look like? Oh, she looks like a little, like, cute little Jewish Italian girl. Ooh. And she was talking about, she said that she would fuck you. And then she said that, that she fucks random guys at parties. <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> I can't remember. Maybe Jeannie. Or... Strella? Stre- oh, Cammy Strea. Cammy Strea with the glasses. Fucking love her, yeah, man. Yeah, she was great. Your show is... It's fun. I, I like it. That's why I've been saying we need to get you on. I'm you're, excited. You're, you're the dream guest. So I'm happy to thrilling. be here. Hi, guys. So before I nerd out about television stuff, let's talk about OnlyFans. Okay, let's talk this about it. This is an OnlyFans show. We'll begin with that. Get it out of the way. What? Is, yeah, what goes on? So what, basically... Only... What's who's Stan? So like if you're a fan of something, you're a Stan. Oh. Ever, ever hear the Eminem song, Stan? Yes. So that's the thing now. Like let's say oh. I'm a man... Like my favorite band is the Black Keys. So I'm a Stan of the Black Keys. I never heard that. What, what, is that because of the Eminem song? Yeah. It, it, it came from the Eminem song. That's amazing. So I was saying, I was starting an OnlyFans podcast when my buddy suggested, why don't you call it OnlyStands? That's really clever. It's not bad. Shout I'm out really happy to be here. Yeah, I'm so thrilled you're here. <laughs> this episode of OnlyStands is sponsored by 4Loco. Thank you guys. Go to 4Loco.com. Go to their Instagram. Give them a follow. You want to cheers it? Fuck yeah, I do. You want to cheers it? A little 4Loco jungle juice? No, let's see what's fucking going Oh. Oh. Oh, Ooh. hold on, hold on. Let me get let me get this fucking man hands with one of his weapons to open this up for me. Uh huh. Oh, go ahead. It's exciting. Oh, it's your fingers. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Yeah, don't hurt You're yourself. a drummer. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Beautiful. <laughs> hey, four local jungle juice. We're king of the jungle over here. Thank you so much. Ooh, that smells. It's Ooh. pretty good. I think it's got an orange scent. Too. Yeah. This is like getting loaded on a Colt 45. It's close. Is it malt liquor? I don't know exactly what it is, but it's really freaking good. It contains alcohol. That's all I know. Contains alcohol, 13.9. Damn. Not too bad. All right. Glad we could hype you up on that. Four loco. John, don't let's keep these things, yes. you know. Yeah, we'll keep them at a, at a safe distance. I was t- texting a few of my friends last night. I was like, I don't even think I'm going to mention the word OnlyFans because I just want to talk to you about non OnlyFans things. <laughs> but we had to talk about OnlyFans things first. This is an OnlyFans show. How about when we FaceTimed you last night? I was thrilled. I was with freaking Cardi B. And I what? Missed, yeah, we had to shoot Cardi B last night. Oh my God. And I missed I it. That's why I called her. you back 10 minutes later. You want to see my Cardi B tattoo I have? That yeah. I got? What? I got a fake Cardi B tattoo for the shoot. Stop it, right? Was she on the show? Not this show. The other show I do. Oh my God. I, I love her. Cardi B I, like, I like when right she now. talks about how she has her panties up her twat. Yeah, she talked about tits. That's the whole my nine. favorite. She was amazing. I love her. My she, panties are up my twat. I want her to be president. Me too. Yeah. She was beautiful. I would be vice with her. <laughs> I mean, I'd we could talk about wet ass pussies all day. First female president and vice get president. A, get a bucket and a mop. <laughs> that's a, I'm sorry. That's what we actually had. We actually had a bucket and a mop out last night for her. But <laughs> oh, um, okay, so OnlyFans. When did you yes. start that? How'd you get into that? What inspired you to do it? Pornography. I just wanted to go full blown porn. Porn done. does rock, huh? 
Yeah, I love her. I mean, I'm, I'm doing full videos, like two hour streaming lives. I'm just kidding. I have seen just you post kidding. about streaming. Have you done streams with like Carmen Electra? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you know, we're just like old Hollywood broads hanging around in the, in the Hollywood Hills. Just the gals having a you night. Know, I got to inspect her teeth every now and then. I Electra? go over to her house, see, make sure everything's copacetic in her mouth. Mm -hmm. Who would be your dream collaboration <laughs> to do an OnlyFans live with? Dream collab for only. Oh boy. I mean, I just did Leah McSweeney. Okay. She's coming on my show next week. She is? Yes. Is she going to be here? No, I'm going to do her in New York. Oh, you're in, you live in New I'm York. I'm in New York. Yeah, I'm New York. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, she's fun. I'm excited for that. that she's fun. fun. I'm excited. She's hot. She's got great tits. Oh, lovely. I love great tits. She's got great tits. We did a collab, and um, I don't know if anybody really knows about it. We, well, no, it was in the news, I guess, but. But um, yeah, it's just the girls just take their clothes off around me a lot. So a good collab would I get be it. another girl who take their clothes off around me. So basically anybody who's down to Someone who off. wouldn't easily take their clothes off. I like when it's harder to get them to take off their clothes. Okay. Who would it be? Who's hot? Sydney Sweeney. Who? Sydney Sweeney. Who the fuck is that? You know who Cindy Sweeney is? I don't know who anybody is. Cindy Sweeney is like the most famous woman alive right now. I don't know who that is. Tell me She's right beautiful. now. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful queen. Blonde. Really? Large breasts. A lot of the internet's basically saying she's bringing boobs back. Oh. Yeah, you got to look her up. I can't believe you don't know who Cindy Sweeney is. I love is. boobs. Um, I love boobs too. Oh, what's your favorite thing about boobs? I like, I like when they're just like meaty and big and big. like I don't. I'm not a flat boob. I don't want to insult flat boob girls. No, no disrespect to the flat chest. No, because I love, I love, I wish that I was a flat boobed, gr boobed girl sometimes because they're always pulling their shirts up and yeah. running around. All boobs matter. It's true. They do. I just like big fat fit. Yeah. Like a fair sized nipple, medium sized nipple. I like a darker like nipple, a, maybe. Yeah, sure. Maybe like a pierced. A nice, maybe. Yeah. One. All right. Sure. One is weird. Like, That's, we're just workshopping it. It's a weird balance. I don't know if I, the one. Since you've been started doing OnlyFans, do you have maybe a very odd request you've come across that threw you off from people asking for custom things? Oh, I knew you were going to ask me this that question. This I ask every guest. I actually was going through all the customs. Uh, I have a list of random things, and I'm not good at keeping track of everything because I'm so freaking busy and everything's all over the place. So I was writing them out, and then when I, when I see, my kids will see them. <laughs> Can't have the kids see the costumes. <laughs> They do. They think the whole thing is fucking hysterical. It way. is funny. Um, it's a lot of foot stuff. People like feet. It's a lot of foot stuff. Like right now, we need dirty white socks. And but I, I like. I think it's funny. It's one thing like if they want me to do something for four minutes. Mm -hmm. I get it. Like I know what goes on in four minutes or five minutes for some of these guys. Even some of them want three minutes. But just the three minutes of taking my sock off my dirty sock off and stepping on that camera but doing it for that long mm -hmm. how do you do that how do you hold your fucking leg over the foot over the i mean i was like are these all for quentin tarantino exactly oh yeah i forgot tarantino's <laughs> in a game like that yeah. very interesting yeah i don't think that i think that's like maybe called like not giant porn i think that's something called giant stuff where that could the angle of making you look like your feet are so big oh I think that might be the rationale for it that's weird. Yeah. I mean, I also have to ask you this, obviously. Yeah. Um, being on OnlyFans and doing custom videos, you have a lot of custom requests for Adriana. -esque They're stuff. all. I'm assuming that Adriana. do you do them? I'm starting to. Yeah. What do you I'm do? I'm starting to. What do you do? They, some people want to be berated in her voice, which is crazy. Can you I mean, berate me for 10 seconds in her voice? I mean, you really want me to talk like that right now? Yeah, for 10 seconds. Mean, fuck, I don't even know if I can berate anybody. Adriana doesn't know how to be mean. She was so nice. She doesn't know how to be an asshole. Okay, you did the voice. That's all I needed. What? Yeah, That's you all know, needed. Christopher. Um, oh, man, she said it. Wow. I did it. She said I it. I did it for we you. Got it. Okay, let's wrap the cameras. We yeah. got it. She said <laughs> it. She but said it. I didn't it. Came really over. say it. I was a little one. We had a, give me a Christopher on three, two, one. Classic. You know, I begged David Chase not to write that into the scripts anymore because I felt like my accent sounded so fake. Mm -hmm. So I had to say Chrissy. And he was like, nope, you have to say Christopher. And he, now I'm he, known he for Christopher. In, in, it's my how you doing. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Three, two, one. Christopher. Oh, so good.
Unbelievable. S- sounds fake. Unbelievable. We did it. We got it. I'm out of here. See you okay. later. Next question. <laughs> I do have a Sopranos question for you. I know you made the news. I have a few. But I know you made the news all over the news last week saying you paid off your mortgage with OnlyFans. Yeah. That was everywhere in the news. If I looked up your name, that was the first thing I saw. That was because I did a really insane doggy style video on OnlyFans. Oh, and yeah, that paid the mortgage off really fast. Just it was off one video? I mean, I'm fucking on my hands and knees. Like, yeah. That'll do it. <laughs> that was a lie. Was it a lie? <laughs> it was a fucking so lie. So it's not even true? It's not true. All those news articles retract your statements. No, I know. I retracted it. I, well, really? not retracted well, it. Retracted. I, it was never mine to say. I never said it. Yeah. I did say that OnlyFans saved my life. Mm-hmm. I will quote that. I will say that I. I probably exaggerated and said I have ten dollars left in the bank. I probably had. It worked. Maybe I had a uh, hundred dollars or a thousand dollars left. The news now. I had a big house that I was sitting on, but that that statement was not what I said. And my publicist called them back and was like, "Hey, that's not what she said, and you know it. Why'd you guys? Because t- I did a, a whole video. Mm-hmm. It was like a one and a half hour video with them, and they were supposed to air the video. They took what they wanted, and they." They sens- sensationalized it, and I wrote the nastiest um, Instagram post about Ooh. it, and I said the only thing they left out was that I had a giant cock in my mouth when I said that, and then I realized how many more subscribers I got. Yeah, I knew you were going to get like a million. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And I, I took it down. I took the post down. I was like, you know what, Daily Mail? Was that what it is? Daily Probably. Piece? They're, Daily they're always doing that. I don't even know who they are. I don't know any. The Daily Mail. The I'm Sun. so in the dark. Yeah. I was like, I love you guys. Run another fucking story exactly. and say some crazy shit that I might have not said. <laughs> well, I did have one financial question for you based off yeah. that. Peak of Sopranos season five versus an OnlyFans month. You don't have to say the number. What are you making more on? An episode? OnlyFans. An episode of Sopranos month of OnlyFans. More on OnlyFans? Oh, Fuck yes. We didn't make a lot of money on The Sopranos. Ooh, really? No, we didn't make a lot I of money I figured that because all. it's not that much. There's not many episodes. Well, there's that. There's 13 episodes. And first of all, I'm one of these actors in the world that never made a ton of money. I was on mm-hmm. the biggest shows, but I never had great representation. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I've, and I've always just sort of been like, you know, even Sons. Like, I did that for almost nothing. Until yeah. the last season. I you know. I was, I was rewatching like a few years ago. I forgot you were also in, at the end as yeah. well. Like well I, they, they cut me, they cut my pay in half after the pilot. The pilot was, I was, I die in the pilot. And then I was supposed to not come back. Mm-hmm. But then FX was like, wow, she did it. Will she stay? And I was like, all right, I'll stay. And then the show tested really great. And they're like, we don't really need you now. So we're going to cut your pay in half. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? That's not how this shit works. No good. So they cut it and I quit. I well, quit. I just didn't do it. Yeah. Um, and I went into Desperate Housewives instead. And then I, wa- I started watching the show when I was sick and I called Kurt Sutter and I was like, dude, bring me back just to shake shit up. I'll do it for nothing. It'll be fun because I was digging the show. So I basically did it kind of for, I don't know, $12,000 here and there to be on Suns. Really? Oh yeah, it was bullshit. But then the se- the season finale, I was like, if you guys want me to stay in LA, yeah, you got to pay me. Big bucks. So, no, I just watched Jack Taylor kill like three hundred people in the final season. Yeah, no one, no one, no one batted any eyes. Hey, you want to hear some little fun fact? Yes, that tattoo I just showed you. Mm-hmm. Same dudes who do the sun tattoos. Oh really? Got it from them yesterday. They yeah. they did all of the like they we did. had. We went there in North Hollywood. It was like a studio in North, studio in North Hollywood. He my producer went there. We picked up the whole stencil. They had all the sun stuff there. I was like, oh my God, do you guys use sun stuff? And they said, yep, we did suns. They did the Mike Tyson tattoo and Hangover 2. Wow. I don't know if you've seen that. Great did movie. Did I see too? I mean, Stu I'll watch Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson do nothing. Stu gets a Mike Tyson tattoo. It's amazing. <laughs> Great movie. I can't laugh. Okay, so there's one <laughs> massive show that I really want to talk to you about that I'm very, very interested in. I have a few questions about it. Shades of Blue. It's not Shades of Blue. Did I'm you want to talk about guesses. J-Lo? Three guesses. I'll talk about That's my own. That's my. I'll give you three guesses on the show my, I want to talk to you about. That's my wish. We go. haven't talked Sopranos yet, by the way. Okay, go. You got Shades of Blue. It's fucking hot in here, Two by more, way. sorry. Shades of Blue. Two mm. more guesses. Of my shows? hmm Shades of Blue, Desperate Housewives, Sons of Anarchy, Joey? So I really want to talk to you about Joey. Okay. 
I'm very interested in hearing about Joey. Okay, let's go. I'm, a, I'm Sopranos is one of my favorite shows of all time, but I'm a massive Friends fan. Okay, I need want to hear just some info on how no one even talks about it. It's like a it's like a lost file in the crypt of the world. I, think. I agree with you. No one discusses it. How did you get on Joey? How did you? It's get like COVID. It? Yeah, <laughs> like, like Joey didn't exist. You can't even watch episodes. So <laughs> please give me the backstory and how you got on Joey and what the vibe was on Joey. Okay, now when I look back on Joey, I love it. There was 46 episodes. It was. Like, I'm also a fan of, like, I love Friends, and I, Joey's my favorite character. I, I've been wanting to watch the episodes. I literally can't find them. I know. It's true. We, I think we ordered a box set. I want my kids to see it. Yeah. So I actually ordered the box set, and the fan gave me another box set because they, they wanted me to sign it, and they had a couple of them. But you can't find it, which is ridiculous because it kind of might be a fun comeback show. Mm -hmm. in, like, I don't, you can't syndicate it. I guess it's not enough episodes, but... Who cares now? Everything is just sort of streaming. Okay, so Joey, I knew I was dying on The Sopranos. Sorry, when did, spoiler when did they alert tell for you? all the youngsters. How did you find out about that first? I wanted to direct a film, so I went to David Chase in season five, episode, I don't know what episode it was. It's the one where I have the neck brace on. Mm -hmm. um, we were shooting that somewhere in Jersey, and I asked him if I, if, if I thought, I would, if he thought I would live through the season. And he was like, I think that maybe you can go direct your movie. And I was like, oh, why did I just fucking, Brother. why did I just fucking ask you? And I had to, I had this huge emotional scene that I was supposed to shoot. And um, I was fucking wrecked. But he goes, I'm going to shoot it two ways though. I'm going to shoot you getting away and I'm going to shoot you uh, getting killed because of the confidentiality on set. Mm -hmm. So we did that. I knew at that point that I was dying. Um, it was towards, we were already almost done shooting season five. And they called me from, from Joey. The, they called me from Joey. Who were they? I don't know. The Joey people. But the Joey people called me from the Joey place. Friends was ending. Had it ended already? I don't even know. It ended May 6th, 2004. I think we ended. Wow. Where's your friend's hat? You don't want to wear that today? No, you don't want to wear that hat that. today with the Sopranos shirt. No, I don't have a friend's hat. I wish I had a friend's hat. Oh, shit. Um, they, they convinced me to do it. There were, other, there were friends of mine that were actually very far along in the process of getting that part. Mm -hmm. And when I met with Kevin Bright and Matt, they were like, we are, we are priming you to go read for the network and the studio, but the part's already yours. And I was like, because they just didn't want me to be nervous. I didn't know if the part was mine or, not, mine or not. But I went in and I went through all the motions, but David didn't want me to talk about the fact that I was leaving. So they were going to pay me for the next season. They were going to pay me for the season I wasn't on the show. Ooh. To so not do I, Joey? So that I wouldn't do anything. Okay. So that no one would know that I was dying on the show. It's not like it was a sudden death. Like we kind of all knew it was coming, too. It, but she didn't really think yeah. they were gonna kill her, did That's you? That's true. No, I, of course. You know really what I mean? It. She was like the heart, like she was the the moral compass. She the was only, like the only like truly good person I think on the show. Probably she was the only person who had no no yeah. mo no no evil uh, modus operandi. Nothing. She was always she was innocent. She yeah. was driven by love all the time. So i I took Joey, and somehow it got out into the press somehow. I don't know what happened, but David Chase called me. I'll never forget. I was at Bond Street restaurant in Manhattan. He calls me and he's like, "What am I reading? What is going on?" I thought that we were like cool and and I was like, "Well, I don't know what you're talking about." And then I found out that i that it was on the news. So I booked all these talk shows, which I never used to do in those days because I hated doing press and podcasts. And uh, yeah, now I'm now I'm just fucking <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Um, I went on a couple of talk shows and said, "No, I'm not dying on The Sopranos. Are you fucking crazy?" So I had to, I had to, I had to kind of zip it up. Oh well. I would never want the 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 audience to know that. Yeah, I that, cared that, too that. much. I really fucking especially cared. when you think about just like I always say now too. It's so different how shows come out now how much of an event I hear Sopranos was. I didn't watch it live, but just like, just when you're watching TV that way, there's only no internet back oh, then man. too. 
just to not know what's happening. It was insane. That. Yeah. I forget about that myself. Yeah. There's no internet. There's no phones. We just did a, um, they're doing, they're doing a documentary on uh, David Chase and they shot in my house. I, I don't think it's out yet. I don't, you know what the documentary is out? Fucking Count Chocula over here. <laughs> Count Christopher. <laughs> Count Christopher's dying over here. Let me just tell you about Joey real quick. I would love to hear more don't about worry, Joey. I don't have to run. I'm just okay, staying, I'm sorry. I'm staying here I all looking, day. I keep looking at my phone and I'm like, I don't know. No, I'm fine. You're, I, I'm, I'm fine for you. Then let's Joey it up. Okay. I just want to tell you one thing about Joey. I would love to hear so much about Joey. Matt LeBlanc is the fucking most awesome motherfucker that ever was. I love that. Yeah. He's the best. He's the funniest. He's nothing like Joey, mm -hmm. but he is the funniest person in the whole world. He held my hand through that. I had never, I was petrified to do a show like that. Especially I mean, with him being, he's in his own character and then you're playing a brand new character. Oh yeah. And then we're doing it on the friend stage. I'm in Jennifer Aniston's dressing room. I don't feel like I belong there. I feel like I'm so in over my head. My dog was dying the whole time. My big giant Great Dane shitting all over the fucking dressing room. Um, and then I would have to go out there and be funny. Mm -hmm. But we would party after the shows on Friday nights. Hell yeah. In ways that you cannot understand. And the cast of Friends did this for years. And then when Joey continued, it was still the same crew. So we carried that torch for the rest of the crew. And I love it. It's par partying hard man, with, with the fellas. It was so great. Like the. Um, Matt and the crew would sing Brandy to me. That was my song because my boyfriend at the time was, mm -hmm. you know, a musician on the road. So he's like being a man at sea, obviously. Matt was the rhinestone cowboy. But then we had, um, I mean, we would this just. hypes me up. We had so much fun. And like then we would get. Pre-internet Hollywood partying hypes me up. We would climb stage 24 and end up out on the roof at five, six o'clock in the morning. Oh my I mean, God. We were wild and we would order tons of food. And just eat through the night because we'd be dr fucking drinking Cuervo La Familia. They turned me on to that shit. It was like $120, $50 oh a God. bottle. We would go through bottles. And sometimes there'd be like, you know, 50, 60 people up there partying with us. In the, in the studio? It was fun. That sounds unbelievable. Yeah. It was a I'm good so time. Jealous. I got I to gotta watch these episodes because I, I love Joey. And I obviously watched every episode, but I was nine years old. So I don't How remember. How old are you? 27. Oh my God, you're a baby. Um, Good for you. You have all your shows. We try. I'm proud of you, son. How old were you on The Sopranos? I am 127. How old were you on The Sopranos? I was your age. If first season one? How old did you just say you were 27? 27. I was 27. Wow. I don't know if I started at 27, but Eight, I was 27. Ages freak me out when you really think about ages. And when people, different, the stuff people do at different ages. Like I always say, you know, Margot Robbie was 21 in Wolf of Wall Street. Oh my God. Isn't that fucking insane? She was a baby. Like uh, in Entourage, Turtle was like 23 in season one. Wow. Yeah, I feel like I was an older, I started older. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I was 30 when I started Joey. Well, speaking of the beginning of Sopranos, I have read this before that you originally, you were like a hostess. Adriana was a hostess at Artie Bucco's restaurant. Were you like, when you decided not to do it, did you have that big of a role or they gave it to you later? No, it wasn't even, in the pilot, it wasn't even Artie Bucco's restaurant. It was some restaurant that, that, Lorraine and Jim could not get into. Mm -hmm. um, Tony and Melfi couldn't get into. Were they together? They were together. In that, yeah, in that know. scene. Either way. Um, and I say, no, nope, sorry, you, you guys, there's no table for you. I'm just like a snooty cocktail waitress. No hair, no accent, nothing. David didn't think I was Italian enough, but he liked me because I was Italian. When I went in for the pilot, I thought it was about opera singers. So I, I just looked really Plain, my hair tied back in a ponytail, no makeup. Then when I knew what the show was about and they brought me in for the series, I don't even know if they knew they were bringing in the same girl. I don't think they knew they okay. were bringing in the same girl because I couldn't even get my lines out because I was so nervous to be with Lorraine. No one knew who Jim was, but Lorraine was fucking Karen. Good fellas. Good fellas. She's Karen. Oh. Oh. Sticking that gun in her fucking Sticking the gun in the, in the vagina. Oh, yeah, I loved it. Here we go. He was excited. You want to hear about Pugak? Oh, Count Christopher, you Oh, my God. The fucking Pugak. No, but the way you say it is she had a fucking Pugak like this. That's what my father was. He just made his whole life. He was saying he wanted you to say Pugak so badly. Oh, my God. Well, have you heard me say Pugak before? Is that why? Oh, my God. 
The party. The but, party yeah, no, to it's... end all parties. Wait, so then speaking of Goodfellas, you just said you were like a little starstruck by Lorraine. Were you then kind of starstruck by Michael Imperioli? He was oh my God. I followed Michael Imperioli for years before Sopranos. All of his indie films. I mean, he was kind of like, like a New York fi indie film sweetheart in a way. You okay. Know? Yeah, so I was like, wow, man. You know, and we we were great together on hey, screen. So good chemistry. Great. Yeah, we had good I chemistry. It. I enjoyed the eyebrows. It. it was good stuff. We had the eyebrows You guys did good. Together. I, I, heard, I heard the show did well, so. It's, it was okay. You know, I think I heard we did it decent. Right. Um, yeah. So I obviously have to ask you the golden question before I let you get out of here. I got a few more. But it's um, so like, before we actually ask this. Now, yeah, when you're off on. the show. <laughs> oh, sorry. So like when you get off a show, season five, episode 13, I'm sure you're assuming you still talk to some of the cast. Did you know it was going to happen at the end of the Sopranos when you watched it? Or you watched it as a fan? My death. No, like the end of the show. Like, oh, did you the, watch it as a final. fan or you knew? Yes. No, I watched it as a fan and I didn't know Ooh. anything. So what, what's your take? You think, you think Tony got killed or not? I fucking lost my mind that my TV mm -hmm. glitched or that the, I, I didn't, because the electricity was still on. I, I often thought say if Twitter was, was on for a moment, I think I'd want it to be on for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of my top Twitter but, being there moments. But it was amazing though, because it was on the news instead. Mm -hmm. It was all over the news. It was the way I saw it was, I mean, there was a good 15 minutes where I was like, something went wrong and I'm calling everybody from the show trying to get Intel. And, um, my friend who was, who was, who worked on the show was like, no dude, that's the ending. And I was like, ah, fucking genius. I, I was love like, it. I was like, what other way to satisfy both sides? Mm -hmm. Does he die? Does he not die? Because if he would have died, they would have been furious. If he didn't die, they would have been furious. If he went to jail, they would have been mad. There's, there's, no, there's no possible way to satisfy Tony. Yeah, uh, the audience so yeah. In, that, in that area. And the other thing was you completed your water cooler phenomenon with the biggest conversation piece of all time. Just go to black and then mm -hmm. play. Don't stop believing. Oh, I mean, it's unbelievable. It hypes, my, my, it hypes me up. The, hands, the hardest of my arm was standing up right now. I love talking about it. Yeah. It's amazing. It was great. It was but, so great. what's your take? You think Tony got killed? I think David has said he gets killed. Yeah, I think he did. But I've never asked David. The I signs are there. I you don't should. want to know. One of these days, ask him. I don't want to know. I like it to be a blank canvas. Fair. Yeah. Um, so I think Adriana, I obviously think of the iconic tennis. She's alive, by the way. She, oh, <laughs> I obviously think of the iconic tennis fit. Oh, yeah. Did you have any hands? I have it on under here. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me bend over and out. pick up my jungle juice for hey. loco. <laughs> yeah. You drink the for loco, you'll be in the Adriana fit. <laughs> Did you have any hand in picking that outfit? Because that's just about as iconic as it comes. I hated every fucking outfit well, I had to wear. respectfully to you, it looked beautiful. It looked great. I was like, Juliet, do I really have to put these fucking hot pants on? I'm, I'm not a dress wearing, hot pants wearing kind of person in the world at all. And it's really funny even just doing like OnlyFans. And everyone wants me to recreate that outfit, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it's... That's a thing. That's the, that's the outfit. You think I know, I haven't done it yet. The dudes in the binoculars. I'll do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, do it for the boys. You got to do it for, for a big moment. Say yeah, it for a big, I'll do when it. you have a, a slow month. Yeah, maybe. Maybe on a slow month. Totally. How green is my garden or whatever the fuck they say. But valley. How green is my valley? I don't fucking remember. But um, I didn't like wearing those outfits at all. Mm -hmm. and, and my character wasn't really sexy because she was a victim all the time. She just happened to be sexy, but I wasn't like playing. I never was playing sexy on the show ever. You are right. I can't really think of like, even like I'm thinking of the one scene with you, you guys talking and you're like in lingerie, but it's not like a sexy scene. You're never just acting about, sexy. No, you're right. That is a good point, actually. Yeah, That's a great she point. was a victim. So it's funny to me that like I'm doing this OnlyFans thing and I never leaned into that in my life, mm -hmm. my whole career. I've never taken a selfie. That's a great point. Like my in my Instagram, there's no pictures of me like <laughs> so stupid. That's a great point. Like I'm, and now I'm like the selfie queen. You just yeah. have to pay for it. I'm thinking of Sopranos like sexiest moments, and I think of Meadow dancing at the start of season six. But there's no Adriana moment like that. No, just because you're such a beautiful woman. She just looked cute in her panties. Yeah, she did <laughs> look great. Um, <laughs> moving on. Um, one question That's all I have I get? here. Come on, what else? more, come on. Well, I do have a good. All right, moving I have, on. I have go. an Adriana opinion question for you. Okay, go. Obviously, a big deal in the show was when Adriana and Tony were on their little car mm. ride, and they mm. and they got into a little car accident. No car accident. What, what, do, you, what do you think happens there? Where What's are your we going, take? Weren't we going to get blow? You're going to get some blow. Well, what do they say? They were going to do what in Dover? I don't know. You know, I haven't watched it in like three years. 
in yeah. Dover. In fucking yeah. Dover. They were There's, going. They were going to get. They were going to get blow in Dover. So was there going to be a blow after? You think? I mean, I think that she didn't want to blow him. Maybe just a I hand think, job. I think. I don't think she wanted to jerk him off either. I think she with Tony, she would have wanted to get fingered. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just See, kidding. I, I, um, he's got big hands. I mean, I think. I think it was more. I. I think it would have been more like with their faces and mm. more of an emotional yeah. fucking rubbing up against each other. I don't even know if it would have. I think they would have gone straight to fucking if they fooled around, to be honest with you. Agreed. That would have, that would have, that was one of my favorite scenes. That's very interesting. That whole, that whole storyline is lovely. Yeah. I Good loved stuff. it. As you should. It was made me very nervous. I was scared when I was doing those scenes. Why was that? I was just used to acting with Michael and I, and I was scared to, you know, Jim was. You with the big dog? That and I think that the boat, the way the, t the two of us prepare to do scenes and stuff, we're both a little crazy. So it's a lot of energy. It's just a lot of big Italian energy it, what on both energy sides. I and I didn't know which way, I didn't know what was up or down. I was kind of losing my What's shit. What's your definition of big Italian energy? James Gandolfini. <laughs> That's about as good of an answer as you Tony can Tony Soprano. That's, I mean, what do you think of our forefathers? It's basically just Frank Sinatra and James Gandolfini. <laughs> yeah. There's really no one else. It's, Wait, it's, are you Italian? Yeah. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. I don't know anything. I just know your name is fucking G-Balls. My last name's Medoro. I'm 75 Italian, 25 Greek. Oh, you're perfect. I, li I like to think that. You're perfect. I like to think that. What is, what is the only Greek thing I know how to say? Scatana. I don't really know much of my Greek family. I only really know my Italian family. So I, I kind of consider Greek. myself 100% Italian. But. Okay, so you're a Genzo. No, I'm not like a, I'm not like a. You had a wop? You had a fucking I'm not like a, a wop? You don't like when I say these words? It's derogatory, huh? Yeah, prejudice against Italians. I love it. Derogatory terms for Italians. But we favorite. can say it. We can, can say, say Dago, it. Wop, Guinea all we want. I love saying Dago, these Wop, words. Guinea, the whole nine. I love it. Yeah, we can do whatever we want. I it's big so. Italian energy. I know. I love Who's it. Who's better Zip. than us? Zip? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. What are, are there any, any other ones? Greaseball? Ginzaloon. Greaseball. Ginzo. Guido. Wop. Wop. Big Italian energy going on. I love it. Hey, as we mentioned, um, Mr. Gandolfini, obviously if they ask you, I feel like everyone asks, you got a good untold Gandolfini story in the back of your brain that just hypes our king up? I mean, it, there's a, they're mostly told stories. Yeah, I'm always trying to get a new one. I know. Hey, if you don't got one off the top of your I head, mean, totally th there's one story that's out there, that, and I think it's told as well, but Something about some couple or somebody shopping for a mattress and it was too expensive. And Ooh, I don't think I've heard this. And he went in and bought that mattress for them and just like they had an order on the mattress, but they didn't want to buy it on the spot. Something I have to ask his, his wife because I'm tight with her. Um, I was never really tight with Jim, but I'm really mm -hmm. tight with his with his wife and his daughter. Um, some other thing like I've heard that he. For like sushi on with set. String, yeah, he would do that for uh, us. Well, the, the big story with us is that when they had a DVD sale, yeah, um, he gave us all thirty thousand dollars. And is that's Robbie true. dying. Yeah, right are you now? okay, <laughs> Robbie? Are you okay, babe? I I grew up mostly on Long Island, but my, my whole family's from Corona. I lived until I was like five. I would only, always go to Whitestone Multiplex to go to movies growing up. I don't know why. Me too. That was that was where I went. This, Me too. The second level in like that mall. Yeah, they got the glass murals on each side. Yeah. I don't remember all that. You're you're so young. Yeah. When I was going to the movies, forget about it. A Whitestone Multiplex 13. How... Maybe there was a different. Maybe it was a whole different theater. I, I was, I, it's got to be the I'm same one. I'm gonna drop names that you'll I, never hear. I used of. to go to Whitestone all the time. Whitestone under the Whitestone Bridge. We used to hang out, smoke our cigarettes. Hey, um, there, Sopranos had a few cameos over the years. You have, did you have a cameo that you freaked out over? That you that you're saying, holy shit, this person's here. Um. We, I mean, we had, I, I, I mean, Joey Pants for me, Ralphie. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, I just love him so much. So that was exciting. It was exciting. I mean, all of them were. Steve every, Buscemi? Yes, that was awesome, too. I never really hung out with anybody that much, though. Mm. Um, I think Peter Weller, was he, did he direct on that, or was he only directing on Sons? It was only Sons. Um, out, we were so tight knit like we I, we were so uninterested in hollywood yeah. i don't think anybody cared about hollywood on our show which kind of set us apart from a lot of other shows hollywood didn't give a fuck about us we didn't care about hollywood 
which I like. Yeah. Hey, Final Sopranos, do you keep any memorabilia? I had so much of it. Do you keep anything? Um, I thought that I lost a lot of it in my fire, but I actually just found my cat suit. You got the cat suit still? I have the fucking I cat mean, you suit. want to make some more money on OnlyFans. I want to sell it. Don't because sell. Do, do customs not, in it. Do customs in it. I mean, I probably could. It's a major moose knuckle situation. I mean, it is such a bukiak rider. It's, <laughs> it's a only fans. rider. It's only fans. It goes. It's insane. You have the authentic Adriana cat suit. I do, but I think it belongs. That's to you. The have the, you have the key to the lost city to make unlimited money. It's, it's possible. That's no one's to, asked for that one. Well, now if they see this clip, people will know it's available. The original cat suit. The original cat suit. I might be one of the guys lingerie. requesting it. But you might have to request I it. I might be one of the dudes requesting it when you this clip might, comes out. Yeah, get me crawling across the floor. You know what? I for, I wore it for Halloween two years ago with a big bullet in my head, and I wanted to do all these pictures of me crawling through the woods in it because <laughs> that should have been the outfit I was wearing in the woods. Oh, of course. Got to go out on top. I mean, come on. Fucking tiger in the woods getting shot in the head. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, tigers get killed in the jungle all the time. <laughs> I, you know, I was the tiger in the jungle. Well, hey, Drea, you have any questions for me? I just can't believe you're 27. I thought you were an older guy. What but you now that I see Why? your do little I... face, you are just 27. I, I you're a babe. You? Babe or baby? You're, you're well. I, am, I, am I a male babe? You're a male babe. Appreciate that. You male babe. Hi, me up more. Give me a, compl eh? give me a complimentary clip. Fucking Glenny Balls. He's yeah. fucking hot as shit over here. I didn't know he had hair on his chest. I do have a little chest there. He needs a rope chain. Even wore a gobble shirt for me today. I do have to get a chain. I got to work. If anyone you knows a chain a guy, chain, I got to get a chain. You're fucking from Long Island. You need a yeah. chain. Maybe you need a pinky ring too. I can't. My, I got fucked up pinkies. Oh, you I do. can't put a ring on this thing. You can put that pinky. I've heard it would ring. do well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But no, this pinky, I can't put a pinky ring on this thing, sadly. What happened to your pinky? I think it's just my birth deformity. I came out like this. Both of them? Neither, this one's not better, not the best, but it's better. No, that one's fine. It's a little fucked up, but this one's, no pinky ring is going on this thing. No, you need a special pinky ring for that. Yeah, we need a custom. <laughs> maybe with the, the Katsu buddy, you can buy me a custom pinky <laughs> <Yeah>. ring. <laughs> Please, I need it for, for, my, for my own sake. But um, yeah, no, uh, moral of the story, cannot thank you enough for this. This was amazing. You're literally my dream guest. So Oh, I'm so I'm happy. So thrilled I finally got you. This was amazing. And um, massive fan of your work. Truly, I would honestly say one of my favorite actresses. Like, Sopranos oh. and Sons are two of my top five shows of all time. Thank so, you. American icon, Jerry DiMatteo. Right on. I'm fucking melting. You guys are probably looking at me like, why is that bitch just fucking sweating oh, like that? Also, subscribe to the OnlyFans. Oh, yeah. And uh, you could... Uh... Buy some Ultra Free merch. That's why we started OnlyFans was to fund our company Ultra Free. Ultra Free equals OnlyFans equals Ultra Free. And it's ultrafree.co. Our queen. Thank you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. Thank oh, you so shit, much. I'm so hot. I think I broke a rib over here. <laughs> Thank you so much.